Hello everyone, I just wanted to share quickly this project I made. Well, um, it's uh, more of an experiment therapy crafting than a project because when I started I really didn't have anything in mind. But I just wanted, you know, to experiment and craft without thinking about what I was doing, without wanting or trying to make it pretty. And the reason why I started um, making this is because I found these at my boyfriend's apartment. They are uh, thick cardboards that are one side this color and the other side are white. And the price tag is still on them. They are $1.95 each. So they're pretty thick and both sides don't have the same texture so I got pretty um, intrigued by them and I wanted to experiment with them and see how my uh, Lindy Stem Gang sprays would soak in on both sides so I started to do that you know I was spraying on uh, the surface and I was trying it directly on it on the cardboard and then using some gesso uh, to prepping the surface and spraying on top of it to see how it would react. And one thing that I saw from Jenny Bailey, she did a video on a technique to make a very textured background using gesso and she was using um, some kind of a, you know, a credit card or something like that to apply the gesso on a thick coat and she was heat setting it and instead of making like these uh, super small bubbles like I have here and here, she had a huge area all lifted up and she kept adding to it and it would, was looking super pretty for a background. So I started to do that but I didn't put thick enough but I didn't really mind because it was just, I was just testing, experimenting playing I didn't really have anything in mind like I said but um, I knew that this was a therapy crafting because um, after the project I worked on for Miranda I was um, <laughs> I was in lack of mojo and plus I have been sick for the last uh, three months I have this kind of sickness where you're always tired and you can't seem to uh, feel better, you have uh, no energy and it's, it, it's really hard. I have to manage my stress and um, uh, it's, it's, it's a lot of work. It's kind of um, learning a new way of living again and new way of um, um, thinking how I see things, how I feel them and stuff like that. So it's it's pretty intense and I'm working on that but they there are weeks where I'm doing really good and I'm really encouraged because I really hope I will be uh, very soon uh, ready to be on my on my uh, foot again. So but Sometimes, like the week after, I get back worse than I was before, so I'm like, what the hell, what am I doing wrong, you know, I get all these efforts and it seems to work well, but then it, it, it all crashes, so um, doctors are telling me that it's part of the, you know, the it's part of the deal, you know, it's it's not going to be like an ascending, um, uh, ascending way to uh, to victory it's gonna be more ups and downs and but each time I'm feeling better even though uh, I'm I'm hitting a rock each time I, I feel better I feel at least much better than the the time before so that's that's that it's encouraging but um, I, I have seen on YouTube uh, a card that said never give up and I don't remember where I seen that, but this stuck to my head because it, I really need to not give up. Uh, I, I did that the first couple of weeks. I was like, oh my god, what what's going on with me? What uh, I'm I'm doing all I can and it doesn't work or um, I, it fails the week after. So, but 
then I realized that it was just a pattern and I have to go through that and it, it's just making me stronger at the end. So I'm doing everything I can. I am keeping um, the faith and I keep working hard and to encourage me and to never forget that um, this turned out like as you see I put the, the message on that just for me it says no matter how many roadblocks or how often the roof caves in never give up and I will post pictures of uh, what the background looked like before I started adding to it because it was really super beautiful it was shimmery and it was uh, it was crazy really I uh, I used gesso and it set it to make the bubbles and then I was spraying it like crazy to have uh, multiple colors. And because of this cardboard that was uh, originally this color, it kept making me think about this Prima paper Moulin Rouge that I have and never used. So I grabbed it and I really wanted to use it, but I really didn't have anything in mind. So it started as a background just playing and I got these note cards from the collection and I put one right there without even knowing what I was gonna do with it because the saying was was not part of the plan at this point so I just put that there because uh, there was this space where there was um, not as much texture as the other places so I chose to put to put that there and since the colors in that note card had um, some blue light blue and green I decided to mix uh, my paints to try to achieve the same colors and put them a little bit everywhere randomly brushed it on top of the raised areas and after I put my uh, note card down I took my stencil uh, it's um, I'm just gonna go grab it real quick oh sorry too too fast this is um, from the dollar store actually it's really flimsy it's not the best quality but I really love this uh, shape so I use it all the time and I will post pictures and you'll see that at first um, they were uh, they were green and there's a little bit here but I kept you know adding color changing colors playing with the colors and it ended up looking like that and at the end I decided okay I just want to I don't want to touch it anymore it's I'm done with it I don't it's not something I wanted to look pretty it's not something I wanted to look like a certain way it's just something that I was playing until I felt like uh, I was done with it and not really satisfied but just done so because it was um, starting to warp you can see my uh, color testing here because it started to warp I glued another cardboard on the back and it's it was uh, pretty thick so I got the idea of putting this strand of pearls all the way around and it's pretty cute it gives it a nice finish these laces that are here I just got them from lavish laces and I really wanted to use them because they are so 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 pretty and she sent some extra to me and there was a light blue in the pack and I really wanted to use it because obviously there was um, it was the perfect color for this so it's underneath here you can't really see it the colors are not that good on this camera but anyway and uh, here I tore some parts of the paper and uh, make it look like it was uh, falling from the ceiling and I put some um, rub and buff on it to make it look like some blades 
and it's supposed to look like uh, the roof caves in on this lady here that I fussy cut from one of the sheets. She is um, originally she is a dancer on the paper, but after I cut it out and I place it, I place her, I placed her there. Um, it really just looks like she's looking at the ceiling. So everything kind of went together perfectly, not in terms of beauty or um, art or anything, but just in 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 the way of expression and what I wanted to, you know, get out and achieve, you know, uh, personally. So I, as you can see, I have only one flower. There was a flower that was on my desk and I went on top of it with a um, couple of uh, uh, brushes of paint and uh, I think that's pretty much it I have to say about this this here are letters from American Crafts of... is it? no, oh yeah the thickers, are they from American Craft? anyway the font is um, Rockabye and they are kind of a light a light blue, I don't know if you can see it, it's like a robin's egg blue. Well, uh, that's pretty much uh, what I wanted to share with you. Um, uh, thank you so much for watching and have a nice evening. Bye-bye.